Hey Heartlanders, so in Heartland Season 17, Episode 4, will this happen? <laughs> A wedding? <laughs> well, not quite yet, but it's coming. Anyways, this episode has fan favorite Shane, who's come for a visit to the Heartland Ranch. There he is. Hey, Dad. Hey. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. And when his girlfriend shows up... Chloe? Hi, handsome. Hi. (laughs) There's drama galore when Shane decides to tell Amy and Lou how he really feels about them. You let me disappear. What? Shane, what are you... I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm... I've just been, I've been trying to find the right time to tell you. You never reached out to me after I left. I once, 10 years of nothing. I was a little kid. You were older. I, I thought that we were family. Later, Lou and Amy apologized to Shane. Shane, we should have reached out to you. We should have tried harder. And Shane and his fiance decide to have their wedding at the Dude Ranch. (laughs) A wedding? (laughs) Again, that will be in a future episode where we are hoping to see another early Heartland character, Miranda, appear as well. In another storyline, Lisa is angry at Jack for messing up their dance lesson with what she sees as a lousy attitude. In fact, she gets so angry with Jack, she tells him, But you know what? Sometimes we do the uncomfortable thing because it's important to the other person, to our partner. As far as the dance goes, I think I'd rather go alone. But Jack sees the error of his ways when he talks to Tim on the porch. It isn't just about you. It's not about what you want. It's about... It's about relationships. And there's other people in the equation. Where are you going? Oh, to take my own advice. And he ends up escorting Lisa to the dance, where they dance the night away. Katie is another person who was uncomfortable with the dance, but for a different reason. Katie and Parker have grown apart, as Parker now has a boyfriend. Yeah, so, um, did you get my text about the dance? Sorry, classes have literally taken over my life. <laughs> yeah, seems like... So, did you want to go together, or...? I'm actually going already with my boyfriend, Simon. Oh, Simon, is it? One of my favorite names. What a coincidence. Anywho, Lisa persuades Katie to go to the dance alone. And when she does, she ends up dancing alone. And she says something... sort of... odd? You want to dance with me? No, I'm good. You can dance beside me, though. Cool. No, I'm good. You can dance beside me, though. Cool. Can't wait to hear what that means in a future episode. Moving on to the next storyline, Logan is getting increasingly frustrated working with Rocky, the horse that caused Molly's accident. He's getting so frustrated that he drops this bombshell at the end of the episode. I decided I'm quitting. One mistake could ruin everything. But this might have worked out. I just, I can't let there be a next one. But is Logan really going to quit horse training? I guess we'll find out in a future episode. So how do you think these situations are all going to work out? Will Tim and Miranda have a big blowout at Shane's wedding? Will Katie become more involved with a cool motorbike rider? Will Logan really quit horse training? Hey, maybe he'll run for mayor. Ha ha, just kidding. But this is Heartland, so you never know. And I mean, he'd probably do a better job than Lou did anyways. Oh, I'm feeling quite silly today. Anyways, let us know what you think in the comments below. And keep Heartland strong. Bye for now.